Tim, let's face it, much of our new virtual world is here to stay for a while longer. So maybe it's time we try and look our best for those virtual meetings. For everyone's sake, I asked beauty expert Mickey Williams for tips on everything from lighting, camera angles, and makeup. Oh, we're figuring out that this virtual world we're in is the foreseeable future, so you're here to help us make sure we look our best. Where do we start to make sure our shot is the best? Well, there's so many things you can do, but I'm going to keep it simple for you, okay? I'm going to give you a little list of things to think about, and then if you want, you can add on from there. So first off, uh, you have to, before you can even think about your hair and your makeup, you need to worry about your lighting and your angles. And those are two very, very important things in a virtual meeting. Because we've all seen that meeting where the light's coming up from below and we look ghoulish, or we've been in that kind of crazy meeting where it's like just ahead, right? So you wanna make sure that first off your camera shot, you know, a little bit higher than your eye level. So if you're working on a computer down here and you have your screen tilted up at you, that's not gonna work. That's gonna kind of reveal every jowl, every hole, everything that you don't wanna show on your face. But if you want, you can actually lift your computer on a couple of blocks or a couple of, I used a yoga block, or you could use maybe even like a couple of books. Make sure that you're not in everybody's face as I like to say sit back a little bit or make sure you have a little headroom and side to side room. And then lighting, my dear, the ring light is super, super popular. And I'm using one right now. It's great because I can get all the light I want around my face. But if I wanted to wear glasses, it does become a challenge because you can see that you can see the rings in the reflection. You want to make sure that you position the ring light up and tilt it down to ring out the entire shooting area rather than face on to where you would see those reflections. Of course, natural light is always going to be the best. So if you can sit in front of a natural lit window, <laughs> more power to you. Make sure there's not too much natural light coming in behind or it can completely darken the, the face. What about if you're on like a working call and you need to use your computer, but so that means it's the angles looking up at you. Yeah, and it's going to be weird if you're on it and you're typing <laughs> like this, right? So don't hesitate to get one of those mini tripods tripods or you know even if you have something to set up your phone and set up your phone and keep your computer at this level that way you can work but you can also engage with your client or with your staff but also you know the thing that I heard from a corporate coach which was really important is when you're working don't get into your document or get into the process or into the chats and everything here make sure that you are going back and forth to your camera and creating eye contact all right, let's talk about our hair and makeup. What tips do we need to uh, think about in this uh, virtual lighting? You need to become a friend with a fabulous foundation. It is important. If you see anything that's too hairy, too red, or too shiny on your face, you need to create your skin more of like a canvas, something a little bit more equal in tone. And I love buildable foundations. You can find them. It's usually in their kind of description. They start out, they can be super sheer. And then if you let them dry out a little bit, like I like to use the part that dries out around the top where you screw it on, you can kind of use that as a concealer. Or if you want, you can apply a layer and where you need it, you can actually put more on. A lot of people feel like they have to put a lot of powder on. Powder is actually not your friend in this high definition you know, virtual world, a little bit of shimmer can go a long way. That doesn't mean you should put glitter on your face, but maybe just step off, step off of, you know, matting everything down with powders. Also mascara ladies, you kind of have to show up with it on. Otherwise you can look very tired. And we see that a lot. If you're using, especially if you're using a light or you have natural light, mascara is going to go a long way for you. I have no other eye makeup on right now, except a really black, rich mascara and then our hair i you know i struggle with it as a lot of us blondes do especially with the baby hairs the stray hairs you want to make sure those are kind of down a little if you have short hair you, this zoom world is your best world baby because we've seen that now if you have long hair curl it that's what i always say put a little curl to it it'll go a long way and then if you have those kind of really unruly hairs rather than take spray and spray it like a bug down We've been doing this in the makeup field forever and the hair makeup, we do it on sets. We spray a tissue and then we, gla we glow it over your hair. We lightly go like this. And what that does is it takes away the, those flyaways. And it's great also too, to do this if you're having any static. You, you can check out Mickey on Instagram at MW Makeup or visit her website, sharetheglam.com. Ellen, Mickey also mentioned, you know, to zhuzh up flat hair. You actually take the hairspray in your uh. hand and then put it in here and kind of 
go it that way. So you're not putting a lot of product oh. in your hair, but you're at least getting, you know, the volume. I like that. I was like, we need to send this to everyone, whoever we talk to. We need those tips. I didn't know about the glasses because I wear glasses to look at screens. That would be really nice to put the ring light higher because yeah. I get that annoying reflection. Yeah, you could avoid that for sure. You know, we've all been figuring this out. It's going to be staying. So some good tips for all of us to have. All right.